So a great way to start off the topic of stoichiometry is to look at the science behind it. And the nature of science is also something that will be on your exam. So you need to know the words theory and law. Sometimes you'll be asked what they are and which one's a theory and which one's a law is an actual question on a test. Uh, so a theory just ex explains uh, something that happens and a law is a lot more solid. A law is, des is a description of what actually happens, whereas this one's just the ex explanation. So the law is pretty much always correct because it's, it's something that happens. So you're just stating a fact like gravity and the theory is the one that can be a little bit dodgy because the theory can be completely wrong sometimes. Uh, and often need modifying or is advanced over time. So what are the theories and laws for stoichiometry? Um, so we have here uh, two, a law of definite proportions. Uh, so this is the first law. A compound always contains the same proportion of elements by mass. Uh, and that was done with these various experiments here. Uh, quite interestingly, uh, this guy, I'm not going to pronounce his name, uh, Bazelius, oh, I just did it. Um, so what he actually dis he actually discovered is that's not actually true. There's plenty of exceptions. Uh, there are gaps. Sometimes there's a, a, you know another atom in there. Um, there sometimes there's a smaller atom. So there's and this one's quite classic too. This one's really that's really quite a lot. There's 16 percent of iron oxide is not actually the Fe um, Fe2 plus. Uh, and so there are clear flaws in this and you need to understand that um, this would really give you a good mark on your IA if you start using these sort of um, deeper understandings of why your experiment might not be 100% correct. Now, why do we have errors in all of our theories, um, even laws? Because um, it doesn't help us to try and be too clever. All right, we can just generalize and try and keep things simple. And this is called Occam's razor, which is another term, a specific term that I've seen in a test question. They can ask you what Occam's razor is or what is it. So this guy uh, basically says the theory should be as simple as possible while maximizing explanatory power. Uh, and so Proust won the day and so does everybody else in the science and scientific community. Our theories are as simple as they can be to explain the most number of things as possible, which means by very definition there's always going to be exceptions to rules. So um, there is a quite a lot of laws that have come about so, um, that we use for stoichiometry. So this is another one. If two elements form more than one compound between them, then the ratio of the masses of the second element which combine with the fixed mass of the first element will be ratio of the small hot blah blah blah. That's quite confusing. There's the data there. Um, so basically we discovered uh, that there are stoichiometric ratios. That's a slight improvement on Proust's. Lavoisier also has conservation of mass, which is also there's conservation of energy. And so there we have all the scientific basis for writing chemical formula um, and for actually knowing that the reaction will happen in those ratios as well.